As you can see, this is the data we were able to collect from this experiment. In the control group, 20% of participants showed some type of positive emotion. Uh, when in comparison, the, for the people that did do the experiment, 91% of participants were able to show some type of positive emotion, uh, which shows that there was significant differences between the groups. This study had a total of 363 participants. The control group had a total of 181 participants, while the experimental group had 182 participants. We measured both fake smiles and Duchenne smiles. On average, facial expressions seemed to go up. 31% of those who participated in the hot scotch activity had fake smiles. After participating, 38% showed fake smiles. For the Duchenne smile, 7% of participants showed the smile before participating, and 53% of participants showed Duchenne smiles afterwards. We used hopscotch as a tangible support. Tangible support can be defined as money, services, and goods that help reduce our stress levels. In our hopscotch study, we provided a service to decrease the stress levels of students at UCI. According to Schaefer's 1981 study, it could be seen that there is a relation between a person's health and tangible, tangible support as it could decrease our depression and increase morale. The availability of hopscotch allowed students to change uh, their stress level by decreasing it. Uh, by providing tangible support to a student, we could decrease the negative health outcomes during their times of stress and therefore influence their decrease in stress. In Gail Denkopf's and Shelley and Taylor's 1990 stu study, they conducted a survey among cancer patients in which they researched which kind, which kind of support is the least helpful. Among the support was emotional, tangible, and emo emotional informational support. Uh, it resulted that tangible support was the least helpful. This lets us acknowledge that the use of tangible support through the use of hopscotch will have a better chance of decreasing stress levels. Our hypothesis that hopscotch would lead to a decrease in stress and an increase in positive emotion was correct. There was a 7% increase in non-Duchenne smiles and a 46% increase in Duchenne smiles after playing hopscotch. Our experiment has been done before in other locations. And our, although our experiment showed mostly positive data, the random assignment might not have been completely accurate. This is due to the fact that most of the people who participated in hopscotch appeared to show positive, more positive emotion before they participated. So um, most of the people who did not um, participate were probably more stressed, and we don't know if participating in hopscotch would lead to an increase or decrease in their stress and positive emotion. We also wanted to add that we believe the future directions for this work could be that colleges could implement hopscotch on their grounds as means of permanent support for their students to reduce stress. A follow-up study could use the Piney effect in order to motivate more students to participate in the experiment and therefore yield a larger sample size, as numerous students only glanced at the hopscotch as they reached the middle of it. A potential replication of the study could test whether or not this experiment is externally valid. Some ways this design could be improved in the future is by having someone be physically present at the hopscotch location and encourage students to use it. We believe that college students are the perfect target for this experiment because of the constant stress they experience. In retrospect, the location could be improved by moving it somewhere more visible and more visited by students such as in front of libraries or student centers.